What about Tony Abbott's comments yesterday that his uh, Western Sydney candidate, Fiona Scott, had sex appeal? Was that a, 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 a bit of a dumb move? Well, for me at least, it showed very bad judgment. Uh, it showed that he's got low standards. I've had a good look at Fiona Scott on page 8 of The Australian today, and I don't think she's got sex appeal at all. Well, I mean, wait a minute, that's just, just, that's just as bad. You'd say she's a rather plain, ordinary-looking woman, and Abbott has exaggerated massively here to try and win her votes okay, among uh, the blokes in Lindsay. Mark Lathan, can I just say to you that what you've just said then is arguably a lot worse than what Tony Abbott said? Why is that, Tom? Well, I don't think you should call a woman plain. Well, I think that's how she looks. I'm no oil painting myself. I'm a rather plain-looking person. I'll say it about myself. And Abbott has invited us to make a judgment about the appearance of his candidate, claiming she's got sex appeal. Well, he must have had the beer goggles on because she's not that good a sort. And I'd rather have a, an aspirant for the prime ministership who's a good judge when it comes to checking out the good sorts, as many Australian men do. Mr Latham, though, don't you think, though, we should be talking more about well, any political candidate's qualities to be a, a, an MP rather than what they look like? Well, undoubtedly so, but you asked me the question, Tom. I did, so I did. you an honest answer, and, and, and Habit raised it yesterday, and, and it's all over the media. So, That's so, why we're talking about it. So if I've got this straight, your, your problem with what Tony Abbott said is that you think his judgment is suspect, that, that um, Fiona Scott is not that good-looking, hence Tony Abbott's telling porky pies. Yeah, he's gilding the lily here. He had the beer goggles on, and in politics they say that it's um, showbiz for ugly people, and I don't think she'll be out of place. <laughs> Thank you very much.